manager, Crazy George, who was the precursor to Bright House, about their repossession tactics for the vulnerable clients. And I thought, one day, I'm going to do something about them. <laughs> so, this time last year, by the all-party group on debt and personal credit published the report on the rent-to-own market following the inquiry. And what we found was, what I think I always knew, they charge inflated prices to some of the poorest people in the country. Additional warranties were forced on them, insurance, and many times they paid much more than the true value of the goods. And in many times, they never owned the goods. They gave them back voluntarily, usually when two big men knocked on the door. And Angela gave incredible oral ed evidence to that committee. And I particularly remember the account she gave of the rent to own customers, absolutely confused by the complex and deliberately unclear pricing. And the fact that they were persuaded into buying goods they couldn't really afford, they went in for probably the cheapest they could, they, they could get, the washing machine had broken, and they were upsold the most expensive washing machine there, something they couldn't afford. And that inquiry directly led to the Financial Conduct Authority bringing the date of the authorisation of these words forward. In fact, the regulator said it rang alarm bells. So, and it also led to voluntary reform. Yes, there are clear, there's clearer pricing now, and they have unbundled their insurance practices based on the recommendations and we'll see what the authorisation brings. But the interest rates are still phenomenal. The stores are still there with their nice shiny goods in the window. And I believe that rent to own shops will always remain a bad deal for the customer. We didn't pull our punches, but the MPs are always aware that low income customers haven't got much alternative to the rent to owns if they needed goods for the home. And now, I'm pleased to say that that's about to change because Fair For You is a real alternative to Bright House and the other rent to own firm. It offers a better deal. It won't fleece them and rip them off. It's ethical. And they won't have the poverty premium that so many people find in a low income. And I'm really pleased to hear from Angela that Fair For You is actually taking on Bright House by using the Google Ads to target customers <coughs> at the point they log onto the website to buy an essential item. Let's beat them at their own game. I've always complained that commercial organisations pay for top ranking on Google. So if you Google debt and citizens and advice, you'll get the fee charges. If you Google essential household, you get Bright House. Let's play them at their own game. And the ethos of Fair For You couldn't be more different from Bright House. It developed out of the credit union movement. It's about lending to low-income households in order to help them out of poverty, not trapping them in poverty. And what tips so many people over the edge is the emergency, the broken washing machine that has to be replaced quickly. It's not people going in there and wanting, just wanting goods they can't afford. It's those bumps in the road for which low-income people have not got a cushion in order to afford, and many of us have been in that position. So with Fair For You's help, people will be able to access them at a truly affordable price, not upsell the fancier model, not paying inflated prices or paying for five-star warranties that they don't need, that add nothing to the statutory protection. So I think Fair For You's got real vision. And the plan is to expand rapidly and yes, to be sustainable in a year's time. And knowing Angela, I'm pretty sure she'll be fairly successful at that one. It's really ambitious. <coughs> I do believe with the right kind of support from the voluntary sector, from providers of capital funding, that we can achieve it. And I'm pleased to offer any support I can to this project. And I'm sure I speak to the other members of the group as well. And congratulations to Fairview. Let's take them all at their own game. Yeah.